Welcome back to The Daily Mastermind. George Wright III here with your daily dose of inspiration, motivation, and education. I want to get your week started off good here. And one of the things I thought we'd do is we'd get back to the fundamentals, the basics, and probably the most important principles that I feel that you need for health, wealth, and happiness. And what I'm talking about is the 12 prosperity pillars, the, the 12 prosperity principles that I've learned over the last three decades of working with some of the greatest thought leaders, success experts and mentors um, you know, in the marketplace. I've had a really, really big privilege of working with some amazing mentors over the years. And for many of you that are um, you know, not new to The Daily Mastermind, you know that I put together that poster called The Prosperity Pillars. And The Prosperity Pillars poster is something that I put together in order to encompass 12 of the most powerful ideas that I feel are critical. Not ones that I've created, but ones that were stood the test of time with mentors that I've worked with or that I've been around, key principles and ideas that I think will take you to the next level in your success. And so sometimes I like to go back through these key principles to remind you, you know, it's always good to get back to the fundamentals, the basics, but also these 12 principles can go so deep, really, really so deep with your own personal growth, your business growth, your success, your communication, relationships, and everything else. So I want to go through them real quickly with you today so that you can start your week off in the right perspective, in the right mindset. So let's go through these 12 principles and then I want to make a couple of comments to you on each of them. Principle number one is I create my life. I create my life. And principle number two is I take personal responsibility. I take personal responsibility. Principle number three, I act in spite of my mood. I act in spite of my mood. Principle four is I surround myself with positive people. I surround myself with positive people. Principle five is I focus on solutions. I focus on solutions. Principle six is I create an attitude of abundance. I create an attitude of abundance. Principle seven, I choose to be happy. I choose to be happy. Principle number eight is I always think win-win. I always think win-win. And principle nine is I am committed to lifelong learning. I am committed to lifelong learning. Principle 10 is I create daily rituals. One of my favorites. I create daily rituals. Number 11, I attract success. I attract success. And number 12, I visualize and manifest my life. I visualize and manifest my life. So let me go back now and I want to take you through a couple of thoughts I have on each of these because they're ones that I believe you need to, first of all, you can never stop going deep with these principles and these pillars. I believe that they're ones that encompass entire master classes, workshops, and quarters of your life. But let's go through a few of them. The first one, I create my life. Do you believe that you can create your life? Do you have faith that you can create your life? you've got to make a choice. You've got to make a choice because so many of us are caught up in everything affecting us and our circumstances that we don't just take a stand and believe we can create our life. And to do this, you have to focus on creating daily rituals. You have to create your life on a day-to-day basis. And it also requires a very clear vision. You've got to gain clarity in your life of what you want. And that allows you a little bit more confidence in the ability of what you need to do to create your life. So that's a couple of thoughts on that. The, the next one, I take personal responsibility, I think is important because there's a big difference between um, you know, deciding to create your life and taking responsibility for your life. Taking responsibility for your life means you don't believe that things just happen to you. They may happen for you, but that you will be responsible for the outcome in your life, that you create the results that you're living in. And sometimes we struggle because we, we feel like we have all these things stacked up against us, but we don't realize and we don't take responsibility for those ourselves. So I, I really believe that you should accept this in your life because it's very empowering once you make the decision to take responsibility for your life. The next one is actually one of my favorites. I act in spite of my mood. And, and the thing you've got to realize about this, because we all have up days and down days, is that no one feels like doing things when they're not in the mood. The most successful people out there. Um, great example of this is David Goggins, one of the you know poster poster guys for fitness and physical fitness. He hates to get up in the morning, but he does it anyway because he pushes himself outside his comfort zone. I believe that the difference maker for results and success and happiness in life is being willing to act when you don't feel like it. 
So you've got to act in spite of your mood. Next, I surround myself with positive people. And listen, you've heard me say a million times that your network is your net worth. And the benefits of this are not just happiness and positivity. You can gain experience and that concept I've talked about called belief transference. You get a better vision, you get better clarity, you have more opportunities. When you surround yourself with successful and positive, positive people, you notice this pillar is I surround myself with positive people, not just successful people. And there's a reason for that. The other, the other principle, number five, is I focus on solutions. And this is one that I use in every day of my life. When you start from solution, not just focused on solution, but you start from solution, your perception of everything in your life becomes better because you find more solutions to problems when you're looking for solutions than when you're trying to overcome or focus on a problem. And you have to, you have to really work on training your brain on this. Remember, you are not your mind. Your mind is a tool. You have to train it to have the perception of looking for solutions. The sixth one, I create an attitude of abundance. I, I wanna just ask you a question. Do you want more abundance in your life? Because if you do, do you believe that there's enough abundance for everyone? Do you have that, that attitude that there's enough abundance in the world and in the universe for you to have what you want in addition to others? Because if so, you're going to applaud others' success. And just know this, you can't create, you cannot create success from scarcity. Scarcity is going to keep you and hold you back. And I believe the key to abundance is gratitude. So do what you can to practice gratitude and focus on creating an attitude of gratitude, an attitude of abundance in your life. Number seven, I choose to be happy. I'm not sure why this is so hard for people to choose happiness, but I believe it's because most people are focused so much on the future that they're trying to achieve happiness versus happily achieving. And happiness is definitely a choice, but it's also the ability to be able to focus on the, the process, the journey, and enjoy the growth that you have along the way, because happiness is definitely not just a destination. It is a path. Principle eight was I always think win-win. Now, what does this actually mean? What it means is anything is possible. Anything's possible. So, you know, average individuals think win-lose. Average individuals think that there's, there's not a possibility for everyone to come out on top. And I believe, I really do believe that when you begin to think win-win, more abundance happens in your life. So when you start from abundance and you believe you can have both, what happens, you start to create more happiness, fulfillment, and solutions in your life. So always think win-win. The ninth principle I'm committed to lifelong learning is not just what you normally think it would be. Everyone thinks in personal development and business skill development that learning is a key and study and openness and preparedness. And I believe those are, but I believe the key to lifelong learning is application of the knowledge that you're, that you're gaining because learning plus application is what leads you to new experiences, which grow your beliefs, which then in, re, in return grow your results. And that's why I believe that lifelong learning is not just the act of learning, but the application of the knowledge that you've learned. The 10th principle, I create daily rituals. The, the I create daily rituals is one that you just hear me talk about so much because I believe that most of us are in a battle with our mind, with our lives, with our circumstances. And I believe that this is a daily battle and you've got to focus on that daily battle. So when you do create your daily rituals, make sure that you set yourself up for success. Do your rituals at the time of day that's best for you. Do the types of rituals that are best. Don't overwhelm yourself with a checklist. Pick a couple of key rituals that you know are the big dominoes that are going to knock things down in your life and focus on those. Then in addition to that, principle 11 is I attract success. So when you, when you learn to leverage the benefits of the universe, it's like Albert Einstein said. He said, everything is energy and that's all there is. You know, match the frequency of the reality that you want and you can't help but get that reality. It can't be any other way. That's not a philosophy, it's laws of physics. So you have to expand your mind and align with the idea that you can attract success. You know, it was my mentor T. Harv Eker that taught me, take massive action, but allow space for attraction. That second part of the equation is the part most of us miss out on. And then the final principle, I visualize and manifest my life, always reminds me of that quote by Cheryl Grossman, I dream, therefore I become. I dream, therefore I become. How much time do you place towards creating your vision and clarity in your future? How much priority are you giving to visualization and manifestation through your goals and actions? And most importantly, how are you going to manifest your life if you're not taking action? You say you want it, but do your actions match 
what you truly believe you want. Because if not, then it's doubtful that you really believe it. I believe that um, there are so many powerful, positive principles in these 12 pillars that if you'll go back through them and study them, I believe they'll help you get to the next level. And, you know, Jim Carrey said it best at one of his commencement of speeches where he said, listen, you can, um, you can fail at what you don't want. So why not take a chance at doing what you love? Why not take a chance at creating your life? And I hope these principles will help you to do that. My name is George Wright III. This has been the Daily Mastermind. Have an amazing week.